Hi. Uh, so today I am going to discuss regarding uh, the top 10 career options after MCA. So what are the options available for uh, freshers to draw uh, means after they pass MCA freshers. And uh, so in IT industry, there are a lot of roles actually for uh, which they can do. So these are the top 10 actually roles that they can uh, do after passing MCA. First one is software developer. So uh, you need to understand what are the roles that they that the software developer generally do. So they generally design, program, build, deploy, and maintain software using many different uh, skills and tools. They also help uh, build the software systems that power the networks and devices and ensure that those systems remain functional. So basically, their role is to, uh, you know, uh, the sort of build the system, build the apps, and uh, apps can be divided into different modules, and they can generally, you know, they are generally mainly responsible for the coding part, okay, uh, by which uh, they, they code, they build, they test, and after that, they deploy in the different, in the specific region, okay. And, uh, and after that, uh, the actually testers actually taste those uh, uh, systems and after they give approval, then, then different types of testing are being done on that system. And after everything is approved, okay, everything is tested and approved, then it is finally deployed in the production, okay? So wow. this is the role of software developer. Uh, now it's the uh, role of hardware engineer. So, uh, so computer hardware engineers research, design, develop, and test computer systems and components as circuit boards. So they are mainly responsible for the computer hardware part, okay, and uh, the design, develop, and test computer systems, components as processors, circuit boards, memory devices, okay, networks, and routers. So hardware engineer mainly are, you know, and they are uh, uh, means as computer as you know it, it means it, it has two parts right uh, software and hardware so hardware engineer mainly looks after you know after the hardware part okay and next uh, is the database engineer you can become a database engineer also for passing mc so database engineer they mainly are responsible for designing and maintaining the databases okay provide informative and relevant data to the employees throughout an organization. Okay. After that, the role of a cloud ar architect. So uh, you can also become a cloud architect after passing MCA. So they're mainly responsible for organizations cloud computing system. They work with the cloud technology to develop cloud adoption plans, determine cloud application design and create systems for managing and monitoring and maintaining the cloud system. So cloud architect basically gives a solution, cloud solu uh, cloud solutions for different, you know, you know, what can be the cloud architecture solutions for a specific business problem, okay? Next is a data scientist, okay? You can, you can become a data scientist also. After uh, passing the MCS, you can work closely with your business to identify the issues and use data, okay? Mm, uh, mm, and use data. Uh, to propose solutions basically data uh, data scientists uh, you know build different predictive models okay and uh, they um, uh, basically propose uh, different solutions for different business problems and it helps in effective decision making it helps in effective business decision making uh, we can also become a business analyst also business analyst is a professional who plays a crucial role in identifying business needs analyzing processes recommending solution to improve efficiency, productivity, and profitability within an organization. So business analyst is basically a person who, who is intermediate between the client and, uh, you know, the, uh, and the developer and tester. So he is in between, he, he, he manages end-to-end -end, uh, actually requirement life cycle, okay, of a software. So you can become a business analyst as well. Next, you can be a technical writer also. Technical writer is a very important, uh, is, a, is, a, is a very interesting role. Uh, they mainly work on the product, they uh, conduct research on the products and they work with subject matter expert to gather relevant technical in information and ensure that the documents, that the technical documents they create, they are complete and accurate. And web designer is responsible for creating the design and layout of a website or web page. Unlike web developers who specialize in creating new website structures and code, web designers tend to focus on visual aspects of its of a site, such as its layout and its usability. 
So basically, web designer designs the web pages, okay? Whatever web pages, whatever web page you open, right? By giving the HTTPS website, uh, they basically, you know, uh, they uh, so they, they actually design those web pages by different uh, technologies, using different technologies like HTML, CSS, okay? And IT architect, last uh, IT architect is nothing but they are enterprise architects. They, are, they manage organizations, technology related issues. This professionals oversee the creation of new security systems, architecture, and ensure regulatory compliance and conduct risk assessments. And the last but not the least is software consultant role. He's a, a software consultant is responsible for providing uh, uh, expert advice and assistance to the organizations to help them implement or improve their systems. They basically they are SMEs and they are, they actually work with the clients to analyze their requirements, identify appropriate strategies and implement software solutions that meet their needs. So you know, they give expert advice and assistance to the organizations, okay, to improve uh, the their system performance. Okay, so these are different, you know, uh, roles you can uh, take, the, the different designations in which you can work after passing MCA. Uh, okay, uh, so um, means wish you all the best for your future. And uh, okay, then bye. Thank you.